All right, everyone's had this problem. Your kick and your bass are hitting at the same time. You got all this low end buildup. It's hitting against your limiter on your master bus and you keep getting this kind of crackle sound and you're like, what is that? I'm going to help you out here. I'm going to show you some of my favorite plugins for side chaining kick and bass. Make sure you get that really nice, tight, punchy low end and you got a lot of headroom so you can get a really loud record. In this week's mixing series, Radium Records, welcome to the channel, baby. Let's get you right. First off, let's just take a listen to this record and just listen to how much low end is happening and how cluttered it is. And then we're gonna solve it. Here we go. You make me smile. It's been gone for a little while. Now I know what you're thinking. You're like, why don't you just EQ the crap out of the bass and then let the kick take one frequency and the bass take the other. Uh, 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 uh. You're not here because you know what you're doing. You're here because you need some new techniques and tips from someone that knows what they're doing, I think. Right? That's why you're here? Let me know. Smash the like button if you're here for that reason. If you want to learn some stuff. If not, get out of here. <laughs> All right, back to it. So we got this kick and bass. They're not working together. The bass has a ton of low end. The kick has a ton of low end. So the very first plugin that I would show you how to use is the Pro Q3. Check it out. Now, what we're going to do with the Pro Q3, this is something that I love doing with this plugin, and this is one of the best EQ plugins in the world. Now, the first thing we want to set up is zero latency on the Pro Q3. Next up, we want to take a shelf down at maybe 250, just depends on where you want your kick drum and your bass to be sitting. I'm going to go to 250 here. We're going to make this dynamic. Make sure you have this at a dynamic. I'm going to clear dynamics, but you want to click here on this little disclosure triangle, and you want to go to make dynamic, and then you want to take that dynamic down so that this is the amount of compression or how much it's going to turn it down when it crosses the threshold, all right? So we're just shelving down the low end. Next thing, side chain. You have to pick your side chain, okay? So from the kick drum, the kick drum track, we're gonna send to bus three, as you can see here, and we're gonna send 100% to bus three. On the side chain of the Pro Q3 that's on the bass as an insert right here, we're going to pick bus three. That's our sidechain input. Now, how do we hear the sidechain? How does this work in uh, FabFilter? What you want to do is you want to go to this band here. You want to click on it and you're going to get this little buttons and knobs kind of display at the bottom here. You have two options here. This will default to auto. So if I have this on auto, that just means it's automatically going to dynamically EQ down every time too much happens, right? But we want it to see the sidechain, yeah? So we have to click that auto display and then we're going to pick the sidechain, which is this little tiny button here and it'll go blue. And if you hover over it, it'll say the external sidechain button lets you toggle, blah, blah, blah. Read that if you want. I'm not gonna read that, okay? Now we're gonna set our threshold. You could set your threshold here. So how much or where do you want it to cross the threshold and then start turning it down? So now we have this really cool dynamic EQ shell down every time the kick hits it's going to shelve down the low end on the bass let's hear it it's so good to see you. i'm feeling free with them smiling amazing are you stupid it just clears it up makes that kick drum really punchy it comes through on the low end all right now another thing about the pro q3 you might have saw a red outline of an eq curve that's the eq curve of the analyzer showing you the side chain that's the kick drum and that'll really help you map out where you want this crossover to be where you're turning down that low end okay so how do you set that up you go to your analyzer down here you can see it says pre and post so we're analyzing pre eq and post eq right now but if you click on side chain here you're going to get an outline of the side chain input and you'll see that in red you'll see the kick drum so let's see it you make me smile it's been gone for a little while but it's back and there you go now you have a nice outline where you can figure out exactly where you want to set that shelf awesome eq awesome trick i love this and you can do as much or as little as you want but things get a little bit more fun when we get into these next plugins for ducking that and side chaining your kick to your bass so stay tuned here's number two are my ears bleeding <laughs> number two plugin for side chaining your kick and your bass for all you edm freaks out there like oomts, 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 oomts. i know you love it are you mad 
<laughs> European uns uns EDM, baby. Nah, for real though, this is a cool plugin and you can do a lot more than just EDM pumping. Kickstart 2, this is the Nicky Romero by Cable Guys, oh. and it's just a lot of fun. This one's actually, a, I think, a little bit more of a creative plugin, but I'll show you how I freak this to set this up for a sidechain. Same thing, we're sending from the kick drum to set this up from a bus. Doesn't matter if you're using Ableton, FL Studio, I don't care what you're using. Send to a bus from your kick drum. Okay, you're sending a duplicate. Got it? Got it. Got it. Hit the thumbs up if you got it. Drop a comment if you got it. <laughs> All right. Now, what we want to do on this is pick our sidechain, bus three, again, because we haven't changed that. And then on here, I'm going to turn off the band, but this is what you do. For just the low end, we're going to turn the band on at the bottom here. And then you want to set that. Now, remember, we used the Pro Q3 to kind of figure out where that crossover was, and it was right around like 250 or so. So we'll bring that to about 250. That's where we're only covering that band and down. So 250 and down. Down. 256 in this case and down is what we're seeing okay and then next thing you have to do is you have to click this audio button to initialize audio from the sidechain external sidechain got it Otherwise, you could sync to quarter notes, eighth notes, etc. Now, this is your mix, so you can do 100%, which is going to duck it 100%, and this is going to be your actual curve, okay? So you can flip through these curves, and maybe you want like a more affected thing like this, or something that's just kind of ducking the kick attack like this. So let's just hear some of these, and then I'll show you also something really cool about this plugin. You make me smile. It's been gone for... Now that's great because you're still getting the attack and you're still getting everything 256 hertz and above of the bass. So you're not losing any of that mid range and that punch and definition, but you're making a lot of room for the kick drum, which is really, really dope. And that's kind of like what the trick is with this plugin. It's simple. It's just ducking and grooving, right? And you can set it however you want. But here's another thing you can do with this plugin. If you like to kind of give it a different groove, like groove it a little offbeat, syncopate it a little bit, you can take this guy and slide it. So take this and you can slide that. So that's going to be the release, right? So you can go like these. Okay, so you can see playback ends here. Okay, so that's really cool. That's like a sustain. You can do that. And you can also change the start time here. So you can really groove it maybe ahead of the beat or a little bit behind the beat to have it hang back a little bit. And you can also do the mix where you're not doing 100%, but maybe you're just doing a little bit of ducking at like 40%. Right? So this is a great plugin for ducking, side chaining bass, and it's literally, I think the upgrade from Kickstart 1 to 2 was $5. <laughs> so much more cost effective than the Pro Q3. Assuming this is all you want to do is side chain ducking. Now for plugin 3, we're going to get more advanced here as we go. Let's get into plugin 3 for side chaining your kick and your bass. Sound Theory Golfoss Live. Now, Golfoss is usually a mastering plugin, and a lot of people use it on mastering because it's a very intelligent EQ. It'll look at peaks and dips, and it'll just kind of make your shit sound good, right? That's typically what people say about Golfoss. But you can get really creative with this using this as a sidechain effect for your low end, your high end, your mids, your reverbs, whatever you want. And the way we're going to set that up is the same thing. Pick the sidechain, bus three, and then you have to turn on this sidechain button here on the bottom left corner. Bing, 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 bing. Turn that sidechain on, baby. Next thing, which a lot of people don't know about, which surprises me, is there's filters. There's a low pass or a high pass filter here, right? And there's a low pass filter here. So let's make sure we only affect, again, 250 down. So we'll go to like 250, 251. Now we're only affecting this area. You can turn the bias to negative 100 or whatever you want. But bias is basically saying weigh it more on the low end if we go into negatives and weigh it more on the high end if we go to positives. So 100% is gonna weigh more on the high end. It's gonna bias it towards the high end and negative 100 is going to push it more to the low end. I'm just gonna keep it. I'm gonna option click it at 0% and we're only gonna use the tame effect here. But I'm gonna show you something really cool with this plugin if you wanna do the opposite effect, which is really dope. But I'm gonna take this tame, let's option click it. And now we have it again on the base. So it's going to be hearing the side chain of the kick. And then we're only gonna be affecting this low part. Check this out. And I'm gonna turn the tame up so you can see what starts to happen. Now that is magic. 
<laughs> this is a really cool way to sidechain your bass and kick together. The reason being is you can see the curve exactly of the kick drum, which means we're not shaving anything else off that we don't necessarily want to get rid of. So when you use, for example, multiband compressor and you're sidechaining all the way down through the sub frequencies, you might be ducking the sub stuff as well when that's not the problem. That's not getting in the way. You know what I'm saying? So you can keep that bass sub stuff up and just when the kick hits it's just dipping the low part the 60 hertz or whatever but in the bass you're always hearing and in the kick you're always hearing the 40 hertz right so that's a really nice way to do it because if there's no information in that kick drum that's at 40 30 hertz 20 hertz why duck it why sidechain it right we might get a thinner mix that way. So I want that mix to be really nice and low end and full. And this is how you do it. But anyway, Gold Foss Live, amazing for this. And if you wanted to flip it, if you wanted to recover, like let's say you had something where if the kick drum hit, you want to trigger low end or maybe high end, right? So you're doing this, you're going like that and you're triggering on recover. Now you have an exciter that's happening. So it's adding those frequencies every time the kick hits. Check this out. So that's pretty cool and a trick you can do with maybe reverbs or delays or uh, spreaders, anything you want to kind of like trigger to push more into it an exciter, right? So this is exciting. It's going up every time the kick hits. Really fun thing to do. And then that could send to an effect. You know, that could send to a reverb throw or whatever else. So Goldfoss Live, don't sleep on that plugin. That's a great plugin for using sidechain, compression effects and ducking effects for kick and bass. Now the last, the final, the final plugin and the one that everybody knows about <laughs> everyone talks about raves about but also does the best job i think and i'm gonna a b it it's sooth too let's lock in as they say save the best for last sooth too is definitely my favorite way to do this and a lot of you have learned this from jason joshua because he kind of made, made this known really well on mix with the masters and youtube and a lot of his content he's talking about using sooth too to duck right on the uh, side chain with the kick and the bass and that's what this is doing and i want to go through all these plugins after i show you this last one and i want to show you exactly a b all of these and the differences between them okay because it's it's good to shoot them out as well because you don't know maybe you don't like sooth 2 as much as you like pro q3 and what it's doing or uh kickstart or gold Foss. so let's check this out so this is how you set this up and it's very very simple with sooth 2 side chain you have to turn it on here and you have to add the side chain here now again we already set this up with every Every other one so i'm not going to go through that again but bus three is where the kick's coming in really important part of sooth two and why i think a lot of people like using this jason joshua right and why everybody loves this is because the attack on this can get really really fast i'm not sure exactly how many milliseconds or microseconds this gets but you can look it up in the manual this goes really fast and then you can set your release as well, which gives you a lot more control over that ducking of the uh, kick and bass together. You also have a depth and the soft versus the hard. I usually have this on hard when I'm doing this side chain. Now, same thing, I'm gonna take this down. On Soothe, you can get away with going down 400. Doesn't need to be at 250 or anything. It's a little bit more intelligent about seeing those frequencies, okay? Check this out. It's just so fast and it works so well, right? Like that's just beautiful. Now let's A, B all of these, right? I'm gonna go, first off, we're gonna do Sooth 2. And I want you to pick a winner in the comments, please. Just let me know what's your favorite. Sooth 2, A, B, this is without and then with. Now, Pro Q3, in and out. Kickstart 2. And 
and last but not least, Golfoss Live. Let's hear it. You guys let me know in the comments which one you like best. That's it. That's the Radium Mix series. This is side chaining, kick and bass. And I hope you guys really like this video. If you did and you got something out of it, if you're just like, yo, I love watching Brad just act like an idiot on YouTube, <laughs> share the show, drop a like, drop a comment, show some love. And if you like any of the videos on the Radium Records channel and you got something out of them, go back on them and drop comments, share them, show some love, right? Helps the channel, helps all of us as a community in audio. Thank you guys. See you next time.